Hello guys, welcome to my new Genshin Impact video. Today I'm going to talk about the top 5 4 star weapon for Yemiko. Yemiko is a catalyst user, so we're gonna talk about the top 5 4 star catalyst weapons. Some are the free ones, some are the not free ones, and so yes, we're gonna talk about the top 5 weapons that you can use on Miko, and Miko will perform amazingly on the field. So let's start with the number 5. Alright guys, so on, on number 5 we having uh, Eye of Perception, Eye of Perception, sorry, Perception. Yes, it's a very good weapon. It's having a base attack of 454 and the substrate attack percentage of 55.1%. So, Yemiko is based on the attack percentage and the elemental mastery. So, the main focus we are, uh, uh, we are focusing on the attack percentage and the elemental damage. Uh, elemental damage and then we are focusing on the elemental mastery thingy if we are going to use Yemiko in the dendro team or in any other elemental reaction team so for me if you are going to build a Yemiko or if you are going to give a Yemiko a good weapons consider two things in mind first is attack percentage and then second is elemental mastery and yes the crit rate and crit damage is going to be the topest priority but Beside that, attack percentage and elemental mastery is going to be the thing. So for that reason, this weapon gives a tons of tons of attack in the base attack, in the substrat, and in the ability. Also, ability is uh, the refinement is not so great for Yemiko, but it's workable if you use your Yemiko as the main DPS or the sub DPS. Normal and charge attack has 50% chances to fire a bolt of perception, dealing 360 360% 360 damage attack as damage this ball can bounce between opponent of maximum of four times this effect can occur only every eight seconds so the ability is nice but not that great that's why i put this weapon on number five because this weapon only gives you the pure pure attack percentage if you know have no other options you can give this weapon to yemiko no problem let's move on to the number four okay guys on number four we have otswan i otswan i is the forgeable weapon yes i guess it's a forgeable weapon you know my forgeable weapon i'm not sure but yeah i think yes it's a very good weapon it's having the higher base attack compared to the io perception having the base attack of 565 also having a substrate of 27 percent 27.6 percent attack why i put this weapon on number four first of all this weapon is a free weapon you can actually forge this weapon in the game uh, second reason is this having a uh, refinement related to the energy recharge we all know yemiko's elemental burst is superb that and uh, the particle regeneration on yemiko is not that great and yemiko's elemental burst also costs 90 is the highest in the game so in for that reason i think if you get 48 percent of energy recharge on refinement rank 5 it's that it's amazing like you don't need to have energy a literally no energy recharge if this weapon is already giving you a 48 percent energy recharge after using an elemental skill of course so for, for i think this weapon would be the great on number fourth position if you have eye of perception and this weapon you can actually forge this weapon this weapon is super cool super super cool if you have no other option uh, you can give this weapon this weapon gives a lots of tons of attack percentage and 48 percent literally 48 percent energy recharge which is uh, very very good so guys on number four we have also an eye let's move on to number three Alright guys, on number 3 we having Solar Pearl. Solar Pearl, a uh, catalyst, 4 star catalyst and it's a battle pass catalyst. You have, if you want this weapon, you have to buy the battle pass, reach the battle pass level 30 and get this weapon, like claim this weapon. <laughs> so it's a uh, battle pass weapon, you have to buy the battle pass to claim this weapon. This weapon having a base attack of 510 and why I put this weapon on number 3 because it's having a crit rate and also the elemental also the refinement is pretty good for Yemiko. It's uh, this weapon having a base attack of 510, crit rate of 27.6%, which is good, very good. 
this when having a refinement ability normal attacks hits increase elemental skill and elemental burst damage by 20% for 6 seconds likewise elemental skill or elemental burst hit increase normal attack damage by 20% if you use your ye miko as a main dps or the sub dps this weapon is gonna be very very good i put this weapon on number 6 because this weapon giving you a burst elemental skill and normal attack damage buff and also giving you a crit rate of 26 27.6 percent so on number three guys for me solo pair is a super weapon uh yes you can give this weapon to yemiko and yemiko will perform way way better compared to the number four and number five let's move on to the number two <sighs> Oh okay, guys, so on number second, we have Wandering Even Star. This is one of my favorite weapon. I already recommend this weapon for Nahida in my past videos. Like this is a perfect weapon for Nahida as Nahida is all based on the elemental mastery attack and everything. This weapon is just amazing weapon for Nahida. Let me just quickly explain you why this weapon is number two. Like the the second best weapon for Yemiko. Yemiko is also based on attack and the elemental mastery. Everything is related to her dendro reaction, the hyper bloom, the quick bloom. It's all dependable on the very highly dependable on elemental mastery. So having elemental mastery on the weapon is literally insane. This weapon having base attack of 510 and elemental mastery of 165. Yes, guys, this weapon giving you 165 uh, uh, elemental mastery. You having the higher elemental mastery will benefit you more. Just hear, hear the refinement here. The falling effect will trigger every 10 seconds. The equipping character will gain 48% of their elemental mastery as attack for 12 seconds. So you're gaining the more attack. Uh, just like, uh, take an example, you're having 250 elemental mastery. So you are getting the 100 and something element uh, attack as a bonus. If you are having around 400 elemental mastery, so you are getting around 20, 20, 200 as as an attack. So 200, you're get if you're getting 200 as an attack, it's very very big big amount. You can stack this weapon this uh, with nearby party members uh, gaining 30% of this buff for the same duration. So your nearby party members also gaining the attack that will also help. You can use this weapon on support, uh, sub DPS or DPS Yemiko. This uh, ability even works if the character is not on the field. You can even stack this ability. Multiple instances of this weapon is allowed. Like you can stack this refinement also. This weapon is so good. It's, this weapon is in general very good. I don't have this weapon. When this weapon came on the weapon manner, I tried to wish on it, but I didn't get the weapon. But I just love this weapon. This weapon is the best four star weapon for the uh, elemental reaction based character or elemental mastery based character. This is so good. So, on number two, guys, warning even star. If you have warning even star, you don't need to worry about uh, getting the five star or something else. This weapon is super cool. You just have to manage the ratio without a crit weapon. That's the pretty hard part, but if you manage to get the ratio right you don't need a uh, crit weapon just give a give wandering even start to your yemiko yemiko will perform way way better compared to any five star weapon also and on number one guys you all you all already guessed it uh for by now it's the with it is an unbeatable weapon when you when it came to a dps weapon or a sub dps weapon this weapon literally gives 55.1 percent crit damage this is the only five star weapon oh sorry only four star weapon in the game compared to all weapon in the game like full arm sword everything this is the only four star character in the game which is not uh on shop or bp it's actually a kind of free weapon you can get this weapon from standard banner or a weapon banner or a character banner also this weapon is a four star weapon you don't need to spend any money to get this weapon and this weapon having 510 base attack 55.1 percent crit damage but why i'm recommend recommending this weapon on yemiko not because just just not just because the this weapon giving 55 percent crit damage no actually the refinement the whole refinement of this weapon is very unique and the thing is the whole refinement is totally workable on yemiko's kit like you can this just matches perfectly with the yemiko kit i already told you yemiko is dependable on attack percentage and elemental mastery and elemental damage this uh, refinement gives all three things is this having uh, when the characters takes the field they will gain a random theme song for 10 seconds this only occurs uh, once every 10 30 seconds so the thing is this having attack increase by 
120%, elemental damage increased by 96%, and elemental mines increased by 48, 80%. So randomly, this weapon selects one of these uh, damage bonuses and give it to your main character, the wielder of this weapon. This weapon is super cool. The elemental mastery, the elemental damage bonus, and the attack percentage. Everything, like all these three things, is you know important to yay miko so on a number one guys the wet set the wet is super cool weapon but it's a very tough fight between the wet set and the wanting even star if you manage to get wanting even star uh, uh, with the amazing crit ratio like uh, 60 percent crit rate and 180 or 90 crit damage then i'll suggest you to give wanting even star but if you don't uh, this wet set is just amazing weapon i i use uh four star five star weapon of course but if I don't have any 5 star weapon, I'll definitely gonna use a wet set or the wanting even star. They are the very good weapons. Hey right, guys, oh my Vulcan is here. Okay guys, so if you still have any question related to any weapon, this is the updated list uh, for game ego. I included all updated with it. So wandering even star is the latest 4 star weapon in the game. It came after the Nahida's banner. So it's the updated list. So if you still have any question related to any other four stars weapon in the game, you can comment below it. The one more weapon is in the game is the shop weapon. I didn't even, I didn't recommend that weapon because that weapon uh, doesn't fit the fit with the kit of Yamiko. So that's why. Oh yes, this is my top five list. Hmm. Maybe to other uh, I'm, seems to be uh, I may be days. wrong in many <laughs> departments, but I Goodness don't know. It's my list, my favorite so top five uh, weapons for Yamiko. Still, you have any question? You can comment below. If you think I said something wrong in this video, you can correct me in the comment. No problem. Like this video, share this video with your friend, and guys, subscribe to my channel. And guys, yes, bye bye, Tara. Take care. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.